Hey guys, welcome back to Kumasawa Reviews. What we have here is the latest in the Make Toys Cross Dimension line. It's Make Toys CD O1SP or OISP, I'm not really sure, but this is Striker Noor. This is the Nemesis version of Striker Manis. Now, you can see on the right, he comes with a bunch of stuff, but we're going to do that weapons pack in a separate review because it has pieces for him, Striker Manis. Riot or Despotron, but he also comes with instructions, instructions for how to put those weapons together, seven and a half inches, don't want to miss that, but as well as a card, so again, weapons pack, separate review, upload them at the same time, they're all going on the same written review and stuff like that, so it's all kind of one thing, but just like Striker Manus, which he is a straight redeco of, there was nothing to fix, Striker Manus actually was a flawless figure, believe it or not, um, same accessories, at base, so the axis, the rifle, while well, we do the top down, bottom to top view here, but just a recolor. That's it, plus weapons pack. Pretty cool stuff. That's why I'm not going to go over the transformation here or anything like that. Really, no point. You can watch the Striker Manage review for that. But going over his posability here, just because I love playing around with this thing, it's nice to have this line because what it does outside of just the creative designs and stuff like that the articulation it's like having an sh figure arts figure with a transformer shell it's pretty damn cool so you can see there no double jointed elbows but it still has that past 90 degree elbow bend which is really cool full waist swivel plus ab crunch and like i said ab crunch is a new ankle tilt it's awesome Gives them a much better A stance and stuff like that. And one thing I noticed is that even in the stock photography, they have that more pelvic out, I guess, proper posture. Rather than just robotic G1 figure standing with legs spread, blah, 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 blah. Bullshit stances. But, yeah. Teach their own. Put plenty of ankle tilt. Feet roll forward and back as well. It's pretty cool. Articulated fingers. Let's get into a quick running pose here. And this deco is beautiful. I was actually talking to a Downshift from the Cybertron CA boards and TFCon. Ryan's a pretty famous dude. But I was talking to him about this, and honestly, I think that this deco fits this mold better than Striker Manus itself. There's something about this mold in general that there's just a ruggedness about Nemesis Convoy while I drop stuff but there's just something rugged aggressive I don't really know how to describe it about Nemesis that this fits more so than Optimus Prime it's just my opinion and again he does come with his blaster there wind vane similar to the classics Optimus Prime from 2007 And I said this on the Striker Manus review, what I like about this is there are some similarities to the engineering and things like that, not a lot, but in a way you can kind of see this as an evolution of that Classics Prime. If you have both toys you'll see a lot of similarities, especially while you're like transforming and stuff like that. It's really cool, it's like a grown up version of Classics Prime. It's what Classics Prime should have been, even though I kind of like that space cab a little bit more than this all mode. All right, and that's nothing official how I have that set up on the back. I just like the way it looks and it holds. You can even hold this thing upside down and the weapon still stays in place like that. And like Manus, the smokestacks become access for him. Quick pose with those. It's just a good look. I really like the way the red pops on this one. It's just well done. 
Definitely more than just a cash in repaying and whatnot. Now, Striker Manus, it was also one of my top, I think, three third party Transformers of last year. And it still is. This is one of the best, especially Classics Transformers. I would rate this amongst the top two or three Classics Transformers, period. First and third party ever made. And I'd say top ten Transformers toys, period, ever made. It does a lot, and it's really innovative in a lot of ways, particularly in the articulation area. And I kind of, well, you guys know that that was Striker Madness next to him, but just knock out a comparison for you while I ramble. And here's the all mode. Which I do dig. And all six wheels, they roll easy. I mean, it's not much to complain about. You know, you either like the look of it or you don't, but it's a very functional all mode. Be cool to see a trailer for it. But again, here is Make Toys, Cross Dimension, Striker Noor. Again, the weapons pack, it's going to be reviewed separately. But the written and pictorial review for both of these are going to be in one review, kumastyle.com. Check out my Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. Subscribe, and I'll see you next review.